another day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. I tried sad. It hurt my bones. Amen. But the joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. 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 Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Oh, gracious Father, we come approaching your throne of grace through your son Jesus. Because we don't know other way to come. First of all, we just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your loving kindness, yes. your mercy. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your goodness and your stretched out hand. Thank you, Lord. To deliver and let the captives go free, Lord. Yes. Lord, this afternoon we pray for wisdom. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Knowledge. Yes, Lord. And understanding concerning your word. Yes, Lord. We, we pray, God, that we won't add nothing to your word. Yes. Help us, God. That we want to take anything away from your word. Yes, but we're rightly divided yes. by your spirit and by your great power. Yes. We ask in the name of Jesus, O oh God. Yes, Lord, we pray for those who have coronavirus, yeah, Omicron, yes. all the diseases that's out there, back problems, yes. kidney problems, yes. cancer, diabetes, yes. foot problems, yeah, leg problems, yes. eye problems, hand problems. Yes. Lord, even remember this body. Yes. You paid it all. Yes. You said with your stripes we are healed. Yes. With your blood we are clad. We sanctified about it. And by your word. Yes. Let your healing virtue flow through our bodies like a river, God. Yes. By your spirit and by your great power. Yes. We ask in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord. And God, we are thankful for it. Yes. We pray for that backslider, that son of man. Yes. That woman, that child, that walk the street. Yes. No place to go, God. Yes. Give them a mind that want to be saved. Yes. And a mind that want to stay saved. In Jesus' name, we ask you, God. And God, we're thankful for it. We pray for the president. Yes. Amen. The Democrats, Republicans, Lord. Let it be peace in the White House, Lord. Let it be peace in our house. Those who are not saved in that White House will be saved. Those who are not saved in our house, oh God. Lord, that you'll save them, Lord. We ask in the name of Jesus, oh God. You say we bless Israel, you bless us, Lord. We bless and rub the fruit of our lips and bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit and the Word of God. Let there be peace in Israel, Lord. We ask in the name of Jesus, O God. And God, we thank that all his brother be saved. And all our house will be saved, O God. In Jesus' name. Everybody said, Amen. Amen and amen and amen. We got a powerful message to give today. Now, the first part we're going to start off with. We're going to be looking at, we're going to be some food inspectors on Ahab. And then I'm going to ask y'all some questions. Then when I get through with Ahab with the help of the Lord, I'm going to go to some other scriptures and I'm just going to flow in them. And I may stop and ask some questions that, as we go along. we see what God brings. But this first part, we want to be a food inspector. What kind of inspector? Fruit we want to find out if you can find out the sin that Ahab is doing wrong in the verses. And now when I ask you a question, we're going to stop and we'll look at it and see if you can find it. Come with me to page 439. Page 439, 1 Kings 21 and 6. 1 Kings 21 chapter, the sixth verse. Page 439. But Jezebel, his wife, came to him and said to him, Why is thy spirit so sad? Thou eatest no bread. Now she asked uh, 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 her husband a question here. Because you see him, you know, he's kind of sad and heartbroken. You know, he's looking bad as a king. Look at that sixth verse. And he said to her, because I speak unto Naboth, the Jezreelite, said unto him, Give me thy vineyard for money, or else, if it please thee, I will give thee another vineyard for it. And he answered, I will not give thee my vineyard. All right, so... He didn't want to sell his vineyard. So what does the king did in that sixth verse? What commandment 
He broke that. Covet thy neighbors. That's it, Brother John, number 10. So we, we, we're going to be, what, what kind of inspectors are we going to be today? Fruit. Now, if we learn how to be fruit inspectors on those in the Bible, we can use the same example on us. Did y'all get, did y'all catch that? Mm. We can use the same example, same principle on us to see what we're doing in our life. We can be a fruit inspector on ourselves. But let's learn how to be one on Ahab today so we can turn the table on us when it's time for our to see what we're doing, Amen. what commandments we break, what laws we break. All right, let's look at number seven. So with that, that's correct, Brother John. That's, that's number ten. That's covered. He, 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 he covered what belonged to Nebal. So God's commandment is to protect that person, and also protect you as an individual so God won't have to do nothing to you. Because we're going to see that God's eyes was on Ahab and what he did. Then he brought judgment on him. Ahab repented. God forgave him. But he said, I'm going to bring it on your son. But then Ahab turned around and went back again and did wrong. What's wrong with this, Lord? Mm. With what? What's wrong with, What's wrong with this, Lord? Help us, Lord. Help us right now in Jesus' name. Help us in Jesus' name. Seventh verse. That's the seventh verse. And Je Jezebel, his wife, said unto him, Does thou now govern the kingdom of Israel? Arise and eat bread, and let thy heart be merry. I will give thee. Uh, the vineyard of Naboth the Jezreel. Now, what commandment she breaking in that seventh verse? God bless y'all. Thank God for the, for the God and sister God to be in the house. We're on page 439. We're on page 439, and what we're doing, Brother God and sister God, we're being a fruit inspector on Ahab and Jezebel. Mm -hmm. We want to find out what sins they break using the commandment. And then once we find out what sins they break, we can practice on ourselves and see which ones we break. Or which one we're getting ready to break. You don't want to break them. So you want to see which one you're going to break so you can stop it in its track. Get a lot of hands out of Brother Joe. Get in the house. Thank God for all. Amen. We all paid 439, Brother Joe. Page 439, 1 Kings, the 21 chapter, and we just got to read the seven verse, and we're being a fruit inspector, Brother Joe, and then we're going to try it on ourselves one, or as soon as we leave here, or before we leave. We're on page 439, the 21 chapter, the seven verse, that's 1 Kings. That's 1 Kings 21 and 7. I'm going to read the seventh verse again. And Jezebel his wife said unto him, Does thou now govern the kingdom of Israel? Then rise and eat bread, and let thy heart be merry, and I will give thee the vineyard of Naboth just right. Now what's she doing here in the seventh verse? Bearing false witness or stealing? It's one of them. <laughs> She's stealing. Yes, still. So that would be the eighth verse, and that would be uh, on the, the number eight uh, commandment that she steals. That's not her. How's she going to take something and it don't belong to her? So that's still. Oh, I tell you, when, when we get through this lesson, you go learn how to be a fruit inspector, not just on Ahab life, but on your life. Mm -hmm. it, it, it works yeah. if you practice it. Mm -hmm. If you practice it on your life, you can stop doing wrong before you do it. It's awesome stuff here. Mm -hmm. Come with me to As uh, 1 King 21 and 8. So she wrote letters and they have name, sealed them with a the seal, sent the letters unto the elders and to the nobles 
that was in his city dwelling with Nabi. Now his wife used his name mm. and his seal. Now, you think he knew that? No. You don't think so? I think he knew that. Think he knew? Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> she told her husband. Oh. You're going to find it in the scripture. Oh, yeah. Well, that's he, 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 he. Huh? I know that when it says seal, back then they had a ring that they right. dipped it in. And only the king could do could use yeah. that ring to see. So where where's she gonna get this ring from? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> so he knew. <laughs> Normally you have the ring on your finger, don't you? Yeah. So he gotta know something here. Yes. That what she's doing. And he going along with it. Mm -hmm. But who watching him? Well, so here's what we want to understand that God is watching all of us. Amen. So once we get God conscious, not people conscious, because people, people, people ain't got no hell to put you in, Amen. and they ain't got no heaven to put you Amen. in. So don't worry about the people. Amen. He said, don't fear the one that can destroy the body. Amen. Fear the one that can destroy the body and the soul Amen. into hell. Amen. And then you know which one to fear. Don't fear the people. You have to destroy your body, that's it. You got a soul in there. You got to go somewhere. Amen. He said, don't fear them. So God wants us all to have a fear of him. Mm -hmm. Once you get a fear of God, you're going to be a lot of things you ain't going to want to do. Amen. You, ain't work. you just ain't going to want to do it no more. Because you know you're watching you. Yep. Amen. Come with me. Then. Uh, so, so he knew he, uh, she took a step and then used his name and his seal to uh, carry this out. Ninth verse. And she wrote in a letter saying, Proclaim a fast and set Nebot on high among the people. Put Nebot help at the head. Oh, that's what you're talking about on high. You look at that T, it means at the head. So they're going to set Nebot. Now they're going on a fast. So are they fasting before God? No. no. Why not? Because it's a false witness. She's lying. They're lying. Stealing. They're stealing. So, check your fast out and see what you're doing in that fast. If it's going to go toward God or not. See, because God ain't going to be part of what you're doing wrong. Amen. So, if you go on a fast and you're doing something wrong, it ain't going to work. It ain't going to work. Okay. Hey, you're wasting your time. Oh, it's awesome stuff here. You ain't going to get this on CNN. Fox and Channel 12 and 4 don't know nothing about this. Mm. CNN, they don't know nothing about this here. So now they proclaim the fast, which they, they play in church right now. The ten verb. And set that, set two men, sons of Belam, before him. You know what Belam is? Belam means workers. They were serving hours. If you look at the word Belam, it means worthless or wicked. That's what Bella means. The hour worshippers. So they're going to set these two before Nabal to lie on them. And you're going to find they're going to be a false witness there. That's going to be number nine. All right, let's, let's look at them real closely now. They, 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 got, they got them down. Uh, they got two false witnesses, a bad witness against him, saying, Thou didst blaspheme God and the king. So they lied on him. So a false witness is a what? It's a liar. I hope y'all catching that. When you talk about a false witness, you might well say they lied. Because it's false. Mm -hmm. Not the truth. So they saying that he did, he said that against God and the king. Blasphemy means to speak evil of something or not show reverence on. So they, they said, well, he not showing reverence on the king or God. Now that was in the Old Testament when you didn't do that, that was death. There would be stone. That was in the law. In the law that they're supposed to, thank God we are under that law. Mm -hmm. Astonishing folks today. Oh, God, that man, we all, hey man, we all would probably, it would be, would be none of us left. Mm -hmm. 
We have to be careful we don't stone them without words today. Amen. Amen. That's the stones now. Now, what about a rebuke and a correction? Done in love. To be done in love, it was to help them come out of what they need. Yeah. So we got to understand that a rebuke and correction is good yeah. for those that want it. How can you tell which one don't want it? They goats. They bucking anyway. They ain't gonna buck you. They buck. Uh, they gonna buck you. They gonna give you a piece of their mind. Yeah. They're uh, not gonna uh, receive. They're not gonna buy you after you get through. Yeah. They're not gonna receive it. They ain't gonna receive nothing. So here's what the scripture says about that. When you rebuke a righteous man, he become what? Wise. He become wise. If you rebuke a scorner, this is what the word says about it. There's only two kinds of people out there. That's the one who want to do right, and the one don't. If you rebuke a scorner, they're going to hate you. So once you rebuke them, you're going to find out which one you got hold of because it's going to manifest itself. Because uh, yeah, they'll come back and say, thank you. That's the one that want to be right. The uh, one just got to cursing you out. Say, God bless you when it finished with you now. Ask God to what? Bless him. To bless him after he finished cursing. So we look at here that they set up witnesses, uh, false witness, Baal, thou didst back to God and the king, and they carried him out and what? Stoned him till he died. Died. That he may die. So that was the law back there. So if you blasted against God and the king, that was death. That man ain't did nothing. He ain't did nothing. False witness. They lied on him. And him and his wife, when his wife uh, set letters out there telling a lie. Because the king wanted the land that didn't belong to him. He covered it. Doesn't that sound like David? With, with that, that sound like who? Wife, David, when he took that man's wife. When he took that man's wife? Yeah. Well, that's, that's, that's what you call uh, adultery. Yeah. But is it? And then he had him killed. Yeah. He, he broke two commandments. No, yeah. you right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. He yeah. broke two commandments. Isn't it this story similar? Has parallel? They lied. They stole. They killed him. Well, David David didn't tell a lie. No, he committed adultery, and he killed him. Yeah, he, yeah. He, he did, too. Yeah, he did. So here they have been, been doing more sin. Right. He doing, he, and that, he doing greater sins. Greater sin, yeah. So you have, sometimes you have lesser sin. Mm-hmm. Get a lot of heck out of the book. I said, God's fine. God, God. But y'all go over on page 439 and uh, at the 21 chapter, and we just finished the 10th verse. And we're dealing with being a fruit inspector. We, we're going to inspect Ahab fruit. And then we're going to find out what sins he, he committed. And we're going to label it with the commandments. And we practice in this on Ahab so we can practice on who else? Ourselves, Who's going to practice one after we do it again? That's for us. That's for us. Now, where you at? You wrapped up? We're on page 439, 1 Kings 21, and we just finished the 10th verse. He got through killing uh, Nabal because he lied on him. They had false witnesses. Look at 11th verse. 21 and 11. First King. Okay. Page 439. Okay. And the man of the city, even the elders and the nobles who are the inhabitants of, of, of in his city, did as Jezebel had sent unto them. And as was written in the letters which he had sent unto them. So she wrote in the letter what to do. Right. So they followed the letter, which was a lie. To kill an innocent man and take his land, which is covered. Yep. So they lied, took the land, and had him killed. Thou shalt not what? You know, shall not kill. We're going to see a lot of sins in here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what they did, they covered. Yeah. Amen. You're going to see a lot of sins in here that Ahab and his wife together right. did. 
and watch what God, what kind of judgment God pronounced on them. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's awesome stuff here. Amen. This is off the chain. Look at 12, 12 verse. The proclaim of eyes and, and set Nebuchadnezzar on high among the people. 13 verse. That came in two men, children of Bel, and sat before him, and the men of Bel witnessed against him, even against Naboth, and, his, and the presence of the people, saying, Naboth did bless the God and the king. Then they carried him forth out of the city and stoned him with stones, and he died. Now, we read that a little bit earlier. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's just giving you a double portion of what they didn't do. Yeah. Now, what we're going to do. Oh, we're going to get, we're going to check. Let's go continue that. And it sent to Je Jezebel, saying, Nebai the stone and is dead. Now, they think they're going to get away with that. But who watching them? No. Uh, see, God don't, the Bible said his eyes are, is on the good and on the evil. Right. He sees everything. Mm -hmm. So they're not God conscious. Mm -hmm. right. they, they think they're going to get away with this. Mm -hmm. They ain't going to get away. That's why we want to use Ahab as our example for our life. All right, it help us out. So we know God watching us. Fifteen verse. And it came to pass when Jezebel heard that Nebuchadnezzar was stoned and was dead, that Jezebel said to Ahab, Arise, take possession of the vineyard of the Nebuchadnezzar in Jezreel, which he refused to give thee for money. But Nebuchadnezzar is not alive but dead. Boy, she sure thinks she got something going on here. Got an old king, got the old king thinking he's going to get hold of something too. Yeah. yeah. He's going to get hold of God's wrath <laughs> is what he's going to get hold of yeah, too. Get. Look at that 16 verse. And it came to pass when Ahab heard that Nebuchadnezzar was dead that Ahab rose up to go down to the vineyard of Nebuchadnezzar the Jezreel to take possession of it. Now he's going to steal a man's land. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not covet. Thou shalt not kill. Just like how much. Thou shalt not bear false witness. That's four commandments right there. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's that you can, life. Huh? That's not life. Yeah, that, that goes to bear, or bear false witness. Is a, is a lie. So you can put that lie in there with that commandment. Bear a false witness. That's good, sister. God is Amen. Give the Lord another hand clap of man for that word. Thank God for that. Amen. Thank God. Amen. That's what a lie is. He's bad and false with it. 16 verse. 17. Thank you, Brother Joe. Glad you're back. Uh, you can help me to uh, kind of stay with, it, with these verses, brother. Thank you. 17 verse. And the word of the Lord came to Elijah to touch about saying, Now, God's going to tell his prophet. He go talk to who? Yeah. Ahab. Mm -hmm. He ain't said to go talk to Jezebel. Yeah. Who, who he said to go talk to? King. Ahab, he the, he the king. Right. He's supposed to be running things. So, yeah, so. but the, the, the wife was running everything. That's right. Lord, help <coughs> Help us, help us Jesus. Yeah. 18 verse. And rise, go down and meet Ahab, king of Israel, which is a Sumerian. Behold, he is in the, in the vineyard of Naboth. But he has gone down to possess it. How, how God know he was in that in that vineyard? Yeah. God know everything. He can see him. Yeah, he can see him. He can see him. He watching you. Hey, God, God has a daughter. I tell you, since I've been studying this, for the child, my life has changed. Better, for the better. Because of God watching me. Yeah. I'm not just going to do anything. And like Brother John said earlier about saying, you just, you just want to say anything. You want to share what the word of God said. That's it. You know, in love. Mm -hmm. The Bible says it's not enough to a man who fall. Yes, sir. Yeah. Before you think. <laughs> before, you, before you even think, Brother Joe. Now that, that's quick. Yeah. When God knows what you're going to think before you think. Yeah, you're going to say. You already know what you're going to say. Yeah. And uh, and before you say it. Yeah. Uh, you think, I ain't back, sorry, Brother Joe. Not me, I ain't going back. I ain't got no more devil. I got enough to deal with now. What do I want to go back to the world for? That's why I was out there in the world and I needed a Savior. Amen. And I got saved. Jesus Christ saved me. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Give it all a hand clap for that. Bless God. If you say it, you need to thank him. Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 18 verse. 19. Oh, thank you, Brother Joe. Right. And thou shalt, 19 verse. And thou shalt speak unto him, saying, Thus said the Lord, Hast thou killed and also taken possession? And thou shalt speak unto him, saying, Thus said the Lord, In the place where the dogs lick the blood of Naboth, shall the dogs lick the blood even thine. So in that 19 verse, what two commandments he broke in that 19? Hmm. He killed and he, he stole. He, he spoke. He, he, he covered. He covered. Yeah. Six, six and ten. Yeah. Number six and ten. And he took possession. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Covered. Uh, he covered. He covered what he wanted. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, man and took his stuff. And, and he stole. That's good, but John. Yeah. That's another. He stole. Yeah, That's the covering. Really. That's good you can see that in that. That's what we want to do. We want to be able to see what he done did wrong. Yeah. So we can see what we done wrong. Amen. We just put ourselves in an Ahab place. Mm -hmm. When we leave from here. Or before we leave. Because we might want to look at ourselves before we leave. Amen. Amen. Look at uh, the 20th verse. And Ahab said to Elijah, Has thou found me, O my enemy? Why he called me Elijah his enemy? <laughs> He bringing God's word to us. <laughs> <laughs> he knows what's coming. He knows what he did. He, he should be called Elijah his friend. Elijah <laughs> <laughs> wasn't on his side. <laughs> he know what he had done. Y'all catching Elijah this. <laughs> he called him in to me. Yeah, because what I'm about to bring is. I'm catching Elijah this today. Y'all oh, yeah, on top of it. He wasn't oh, praying with him. Yeah, yeah, he caught me there because he's doing wrong. Different side. And the answer, I have found thee. Yeah, I found him. God <laughs> told me where you're at. Because I have sold myself to work evil in the what? Sight of the Lord. He said, you, you sold yourself to do that. And mm -hmm. God's sight. Now God is sending his prophet to tell him what he's doing wrong. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 15. To work even the side of the Lord. Look at 21 verse. <clears throat> Proverbs what? 15 and 3 says what? The eyes of the Lord upon the good and the evil. Uh, he watches both of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that way you know which one's doing good. You know which one doing that way you get reward. <clears throat> he has to, you see, he's a king. He has to know what's going on. Mm -hmm. So he can judge righteously. He's not going to judge things wrong. Because he know he has the knowledge of what the way down. That's right. That's awesome, man. Yeah, and awesome stuff. I'm going to go with it, brother. Uh, this thing is good. Thank you, Lord. 21. Thank you, brother Joe. 21 verse. Behold, I'm going to bring evil upon thee. Okay, now, since he did evil, can God bring evil? Yes. Yeah, he's a just God. Yeah. Let it happen. He brought it on himself. Allow it to happen. He brought it on himself. Yeah, he did the evil. So it's gonna By be. him being a judge, he had to bring evil on him. Mm. Oh, God, catch him. Mm. Yeah. He can't bring righteousness on, on evil because no. mm. he judged righteously. So he had to bring judgment on what is evil and bring evil back on that evil. You're going to send evil back. That's his wrath. You know, that That's the scripture. That's the word. Mm -hmm. That's the word. So the word said that's going to happen. Yeah. That's exactly what's happening. Let's see what happens to him. Now, he's going to repent. Yeah. He's going to repent. Yeah, yeah. But then he'll go back and do wrong again. Yeah. And then he got cut off that time. <laughs> he did what? Yeah, he did. Uh, uh, saints, don't go back and do it again. Ask the Lord to help you to stop. Amen. It ain't going to pay off for you. Because he's watching us. We are, where we at now, Brother Shaw? 21. 21, we had not finished? No. Okay. Behold, I will bring evil upon thee, and will take away thou, what? Posterity. Prosperity. He was prosperous. Who made him prosper? God did. God did it. Some people think because God made him prosper, boy, he just can go do anything. Uh, that ain't true. No. He's going to take it away from a man. Yeah. Uh, just like he 
did Solomon, uh, the wisest man at that time, he took some kingdoms away from him because he wouldn't repent. But here we're going to see he's going to repent, go back to the wrong, then he get killed. Lord, have mercy, God. So the, the 20, 21, and are you going to take his possession? It will cut off from Ahab, him that pisses against, pisses against the wall. Another translation said his children. That's what it is. Yeah. Children. He's going to cut off his children, mm -hmm. and he's going to cut off every male. That's what it was. So you get another translation, you can understand what he's talking about there in that particular verse. Amen. And them that shut up. And left in Israel. So anybody that was left in Israel that was that was a male and had his name on, his last name, he's gonna get cut off. Yeah, he's cut off. That's awesome. Well, wow. Shut up. A, a person can destroy you. Your whole bloodline. Whole that, bloodline. That was the curse. Yeah. That he was gonna do that. Uh, cut everything off. Mm -hmm. Lord, I wanna sin against you. Mm -hmm. Help me to the Bible says sin the Lord that we stop sinning. In Jesus' my name, yes. and by the blood of the Lamb of God, yes, give us a fear of you. Yes. Thank you, Lord. But the people don't want. Yes, Lord. Yes. 22nd verse. And we will make thy house like the house of Jeroboam. Now, that's what he did to Jeroboam, yes. the son of Nabal. And like the house of Bashan, that's what he did with him, the son of Ashi, from the prov provocation wherewith thou hast provoked me to what? Anger. Oh, you mad now, man. God is a consuming fire. Yeah. When you get them angry, there's nothing that can stop them except repentance. Amen. You're going to see that in the world. And I'm not telling you to make God angry to find out if he's going to repent. <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you don't. I got some scriptures back me up. When Saul repented, Ask God to forgive him. Did God forgive him? No. He gave him, but he didn't let the baby live. He didn't let what? He didn't let the baby live. No, that's David. I mean, David, yeah. Yeah, Saul. Hey, no, he didn't. Saul. He didn't. Saul. He, no, he, he didn't. Saul. Saul. No. If you give, I, I'm, I'm bringing another man out. Esau. No. No. He cried, and he sought the Lord. He See, I'm going to bring scriptures out to let y'all know, just don't play with God. Amen. Don't, Amen. don't, don't play with God. Don't play with God. He ain't nobody to play with. Well, he said he cried bitterly. Yeah. Weak. Yeah. Get us, Lord. Do what? Get us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. So he, he made Israel a sin. So he was the leader, and he led the people of God in the sin because they thought he was doing what was right. right. Except the lying ones he had. But the rest of them that stoned them, they didn't know. They thought it was the truth. Mm -hmm. Be a fruit inspector who you're following. Mm -hmm. Amen. And know for yourself who God is Amen. in your life. Amen. And what God can do yeah. in your life. Amen. Don't let nobody else know God for you. Amen. Look at the 23rd verse. And of Jezebel also spake the Lord, saying, The dog should Eat Jezebel by the wall of Jezreel. So he pronounced the judgment on his wife. Yeah. So both of them is being pronounced judgment on. Is there any respect of person? No. I don't kill y'all. You can be the apple of his eye. Go, go, go do something again. Ask David about it. He was the apple of God's eye. God put a whipping on. 24 and 5. Him that died. Of Ahab in the city, the dog shall eat. Now he pronounced the judgment on Ahab. Him that died in the field shall the fowl of the air eat. Put a fifth verse. But that was not like unto Ahab which did sell himself to work wickedness in the sight of the Lord whom Jezebel his wife stirred up. Watch who stir you up. <laughs> Yeah. Be careful who's showing you yeah. the sin against God. It ain't worth all that stuff. It ain't worth all that love. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. 
Uh, bless my mom's there, Lord. They got 20 seconds burned. And he did very abominably in the in in following hours. He did what? He followed out. That's another sin. That's the first commandment. Right. Thou shalt not have any of the God before me. So we didn't did we didn't did at least with five. This is six. The six, six commandments he didn't break. According to all the things that did ever right, whom the Lord cast out before the children of Israel. 27 verse. And it came to pass when they have heard those words that he did what? He ran his clothes. And put sackcloth upon his flesh and fastened and laid in sackcloth and went softly. Now this fast here <laughs> is going toward who? God. Oh. It's going toward God. He knows they ain't playing no church here now because God's going to kill him. Yeah, so he ain't playing no more church. Yeah, what? Well, be for real. But how long? We're going to see how long it's going to be for real. Look at 28 verse. And the word of the Lord came to Elijah, the testified, saying, Now he's going to talk to the prophet to go back and, and talk to Ahab because he repented. So repentance and a fast humbles you before God. Amen. And God. Will turn sometime. Sometimes you'll turn this right around. That's right. I want to find out he's going to do that now, Philip. So I want to stop it before it happens. Amen. Amen. See, this is what we want to teach Big Jesus Bible Center Channel to learn how to stop it before you do it. So that way you won't have to suffer the consequences of it. 29 verse. See, is thou how Ahab humbled himself before me? Because he humbled himself before me, I will not bring the evil in his days, but in his son days, I'm going to bring it on his son, will I bring the evil upon his house. Now you would think, because God let him go free, he will walk the straight and narrow. Let's go to 1 Kings 22 and 6. So I'm at the 6th verse. So in the sixth verse, then the king of Israel gathered the prophets together, about 400 men, and said unto them, Shall I go against Ramagad to battle, or shall I for battle? And it said, Go up, for the Lord shall deliver it into thy hand of the king. So he got how many false prophets? 400. Now, notice, he should have cut the Let's see here what I got down here. I got it here somewhere. And I thought I wrote it down. Here we go. Okay, that's going to page 434. Looks like he should have learned a lesson over here, but he didn't. 434, First King, the 18th chapter, the 22nd verse. First King, the 18th chapter, the 20th. Second verse, page 434. Then said Elijah unto the prophet, I even I alone am the prophet of the Lord. But Baal prophets are 400 and what? 50 men. Now, let's look at the 40th verse of that same chapter. Let's go to the 40th verse. And Elijah said unto them, Take the prophets of Baal, let none of them escape. And they took them, and Elijah brought them down to the brook Keshron, and slew them there. How many he killed? 450 false prophets. Now, I want y'all to add this up. We own 400 false prophets. He gonna look for now, and he gonna go with these. Lord, have mercy God. Look, I can't even write this lesson, brother John. He didn't it's gonna cost him his life. So when you don't write a lesson, it's gonna cost you something. Well, when, when, when Elijah brought the word of God to him, and he repented, and, you know, so why would you not go back to, but remember, he called him an enemy. He never went with along with him at all. Yeah. He, he delivered what God told him to, see, to bring. But you see, God, God is a fruit inspector. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And who are we going to be? Fruit inspector. We're going to be a fruit inspector and check Ahab out so we won't do it when Ahab is doing it. Repent. Get right with God and go back and do wrong. Right. 
Got wow. it right. Wow. Got to stay right. Well, that's what, they, that's what uh, Ahab. Ahab did. He repented, and then he went back doing. Wow. That's why we we don't want to do that. We don't, we want to be like Ahab. Like so yes, just kidding. Uh, chapter we went to when we, we uh, the ones we just left from. Uh, I get it. The, after we did First King twenty two and six, you told us to go somewhere else. Try to get that. Uh, first King. The uh, 18. 18 chapter, 22nd. 22nd verse, 18 and 22, then you go to 18 and 40, and tie those two together. You said first king or second king? First king. King. First king, 18 and 22, then first king, 18 and 40, you can tie those two together. Thank you. Anybody else? In fact, all of that from 21 down to the end of that chapter. Yeah, there's a lot of groceries in there, so I just gave y'all a couple of verses so we can go back and pick up Ahab again. There's a lot of groceries, but the Charles talking about we don't want to deal with that. Right chapter 18? Now. Yeah, mm -hmm. verse 18, chapter 18, 22. Chapter 22. Verse 22. verse 22, and then 18 and 40. Now we're going back over here now, Brother Joe. We're going back to 1 Kings 22 and 6 now. We, we just brought Sister Kim wanted to write that down. So that's why I gave that to her, Brother Joe. So we're going back now to 1 Kings 22 and 6. Then the king of Israel gathered the prophets together, about how many? 400. 400. So we know he, he killed 450 back then. That's why we went over there. That she had, if he had 450 and 400, how many? That is. 50. She had 850 false prophets. Jezebel did. Lord, have mercy, God. And they prophesied in the name of the Lord. The same Jezebel was the threat of uh, Elijah. Mm -hmm. Elijah. Elijah, they killed, two, they killed uh, Jezebel 250 prophets. Yeah, the 450 at first. Well, you know, started at same two, one. You started running, and God yeah. sent a raven down to feed the feed. Yeah, that, that's another part there. We're not going to go into that part right now, Brother Joe. Yeah, we, we, we're, we're gonna try to stay with his gift out of time. I, I, I just saw the name. Just, just yeah, like yeah. He, he came and fed the raven. So we we got what we want to do is find out a food inspector. We definitely be in the food inspector of Ahab. I just saw the name Jezebel. Sir. I just saw the name Jezebel. <laughs> yes, sir. That's a, that's her. Amen. Uh, six verse. Then the king of Israel gathered the prophets together, about four hundred men, and said to them, Shall I go against? Ramagon to battle, or shall offer bad? And he said, Go up, but who going to deliver? The Lord, Lord shall deliver it into no, the hand of the king. How the Lord going to deliver into his hand <laughs> when you don't run the false prophets? That ain't from God. Huh? That That's not his prophet. That's, That's just a bad prophet. That's right. And, and, and worship out of them. Out of God. Yeah. So you can know a false prophet by the out of God they worship. I hope y'all catching this. Because God ain't going to be part of ours. Right. He's against that. He's a jealous God. Amen. So he's not going he to not, he not gonna let you pray to ours and then go talk to him. He's going to let, like let you pray to ours and talk to him. Don't work like that. I don't work like that. You're going against him. Look at that seventh verse. Jehoshaphat said, Is that Jehoshaphat? Says thou not here a prophet of the Lord besides that we might inquire. Then you ain't got you ain't got a prophet. Uh, all these four hundred you got here. I want to find out you got another prophet around here. Yeah. Talk to the Lord. Jehoshaphat was a man that served God, but he getting he getting entangled with a, a, a king that's not serving God. Right. So be careful who you tie yourself up with. Amen. Mm -hmm. Let me get back where you want over in the notes. Amen. But it's right. Be careful who you tie yourself up with. Eight verse. And the king of Israel said to Jehoshaphat, there's yet one man. That's one man. Ain't that but one. Michael. Hey, God don't need a whole lot. Mm -hmm. All he needs is one to tell the truth. Mm -hmm. You don't need no 450. Or 400. You just need one to tell the truth. That's right. Amen. Eight verse. And the king of Israel said, and Joshua, uh, yeah, this one, and Michael, the son of, of uh, Imad, 
but whom we may inquire the Lord, but I hate him. He what? He hate him. He hate, he hate the one that's going to tell the truth. That's why he hate him. So you want to have people going to hate you when you tell them because they don't want the truth. They want to do wrong. Amen. So put them on the privilege. Don't, don't get mad with them. Except put them on the pride list and pray for them. He said, but I hate him, for do not prophesy good to something. You don't say nothing good about me. That's because he's a, a man of God. And he, he's going to try to straighten him out, but he want to do right. But evil. And Jehoshaphat said, let not the king say so. I don't, don't talk about the man like that. Let's see what he got to say. Yeah. Let's give him a chance to talk. Yeah. As Jehoshaphat said, give him a chance to say something. Yeah. See what he's talking about. Let's see what he's talking about. See if he's going to go along with you or not. Ninth line. Then the king of Israel called and offered and said, Hasten hither, Micah, the son of Emma. Tenth line. And the king of Israel and your husband, the king of Judah, set each on his throne, having put on it their robe, and bought in a barred place in the entrance of the gate of Samaria. And all the prophets prophesied before him. And then 400 false prophets prophesied. Mm -hmm. Now they're going to try to get Michael to say the same thing. Yeah. Michael going to go along with him for a little while until the king said, Come on, tell me the truth. Or he out wants the truth, didn't he want the truth? You know, that's some people like that. They want you to tell them the truth. And when you tell them the truth, they don't want the truth. Yeah. Watch what he have here. He got the truth and didn't want it. Yeah. So God let him listen to the lie. That's what the scripture said. If you don't believe, that you can be, this is in the New Testament. Mm -hmm. If you don't believe that you can be saved, God will let you believe a lie. Right. Lord, I believe I can be saved. Yes, Lord. I believe the Lord. I know I can. I believe I, believe I can be saved. Amen. Amen. Because of Jesus Christ, your son. Amen. That's the reprobate mind. I don't want none of that mind. That this mind be. In Christ, there was also in, in his mind being that was in Christ. Yet we got to have the mind of Christ to do the will of God. That was his mind. It's a new God's will. But how how you gonna do God's will if you don't know it? You gotta Amen. go. You gotta go steady. Amen. Where we're at now? Verse eleven. Go to ten. Yeah, go to eleven. Thank you. And Zedekiah the son of Shemon made him thrones of iron. And he said, Thus said the Lord, With this shalt thou push the servant until thou have consumed them. That sounds good, don't it? Mm, it's not true. But it's a lie. Yeah. Most lies sound Smooth. It sounds good. Like you're going you to do something to them. You're going to push them. And then he, they, they got an they got a, a, a iron. And it said, Just like that, I'm, you're going to push them in. You're going to push them away. Lying. Mm -hmm. Devils. Lord, I want the truth. Hey man, when I go in a battle uh, against my enemies, against that devil. Twelve hundred, and all the prophets prophesied, so saying, go up to Ramagad and, uh, and prosper. For the Lord should deliver it into the king's hand. Boy, they go to, to prophesy, proper line. Look at that thirteen bird. And the messenger was gone to call Micah, speaking to him, saying, Behold now, the words of the prophet declared good unto the king. We spoke good for the king. I pray thee be like the word of one of them and speak that which is good. We want you to say the good things we said to the king, Michael. We want you to lie. You go along with us. Go along with us. We gave him some smooth stuff. Yeah. To kill him. To what? To kill the king. Look at that 14 verse. And Michael said... As the Lord liveth, what the Lord said unto me, that will I speak. Now he gonna pull one on him. Why? Why is Mike gonna pull on him? He gonna he gonna go along with him. Yeah, yeah that's what they want to hear. Then he gonna tell him the truth. Look at that fifteen verse. So it came to the king, and the king said unto him, Michael, shall we go up against Ramagad to battle, or shall we forbear? And he answered him, Go and prosper, for the Lord shall deliver thee. And to the hand of the king. That's what he wanted to hear. So Michael went along with him. Mm -hmm. 
Why did the king uh, say, oh, come on, tell me the truth? <laughs> that king something else. King Ahab. 141. You want no dummy. 16 verse. And the king said unto him, How many times will I adjure thee that thou tell me nothing but, the, but that which is true in the name of the Lord? So you asked him a question there. Uh, 17 verse. He said, I saw all night to tell the truth now. Yeah. So you, want, you want the truth, king? Yeah, here, here it come. And he said, I saw all Israel scattered upon the hill as sheep that have no shepherd. And the Lord said, This have no master, let them return every man to his house in peace. Now God spoke to the to Michael the truth to right. go back home. Don't need long. Go back home. Mm -hmm. You're gonna find out they didn't do it. They wanted a lie. Mm -hmm. They didn't want the truth. That's right. Sit down. 18 right, the king of Israel said to Jehoshaphat, Didn't I tell thee that he would prophesy no good concerning me but evil? Did I tell you? She, he didn't tell him, he ain't said nothing good about me. He's trying to help the king yeah, yeah, from getting killed. Yeah, he ain't listening. He don't want to. He want to lie. Yeah. We call that evil, don't know it's good. So there's going to come a time a man going to call evil good, good and good evil. Good evil. Amen. So, uh, oh, yeah, he's in that position right now. Mm -hmm. Call it good evil. Yeah. 19 verse. And he said, Hear thou, thou for the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne, and all the hosts of heaven standing by him, on his right hand and on the left. How, how can you see that? In the spirit. In the spirit, because you worship God, you serve God. Yeah. So God can open your eyes spiritually to see things in the spirit right. Amen. If God was to show you everything in the spirit right, you would you would probably pass out. Yeah, you would. Yeah, all that stuff going on in the spirit right. So God opened his eyes to see, amen, bless God, to see the heaven, brought have mercy at. The Lord, what a prophet. Amen. Uh, that's all I said here, Lord. 20. Thank you, Brother Charles. And the Lord said, How shall, uh, who shall persuade they have <laughs> that he might go and fall at Ramagah? And one, of, uh, one said on this matter, and another said on that matter. 21 verse. Now came forth the Spirit and stood before the Lord and said, I'll persuade him. Whoa. You know what that was? That's the devil. Right. Watch, watch, watch what this. He said, I'll be a lying spirit in this right. See, if you don't, you don't want the truth, God lets you let the devil get hold of you yeah. and tell you what you want. Yeah. Since you don't want the truth, you don't tell it. The 22nd verse, and the Lord said to him, well, with He said, I will go forth and will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And he said, thou shalt persuade him and prevail also go forth and do so. So the devil ain't nothing but a liar he come to rob, to steal, Amen. and to kill us. Amen. As John 10 and 10, but Jesus said, Amen. I came Amen. that you may have life Amen. and that more abundantly. Amen. I done made my choice. I don't know about y'all, which I'm a new child. Amen. I can't make the choice for you. Yeah. You got to make the choice for yourself yeah. who you going to serve. So my yeah. mind is already made up. It's yeah. already fixed over yeah. 45 years ago. Yeah. And I ain't turning back because I'm getting wiser. Give the Lord a hand clap for you. God's an awesome God. What a mighty God we serve. A God more than enough. Amen. You should know the truth. And the truth. The truth. The truth. The truth. Yeah, 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 the tru
Oh, we're going to go to the 30. I wrote the 30 on that because I didn't want to go through all the verses right quick because my time is catching up. Let's go to the 30 verse. And the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat, I'll disguise myself into the battle, but put on thou on thy robe. How would you like a, a friend like that? <laughs> y'all, I hope y'all caught that in his verse. He said him up. He said him up. He said him up. Jehoshaphat up. He he up. He he ain't never snap. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, King. We going together. We you get your robe on too. Uh -uh, we ain't playing this game. He told you all the five. I I'm on the sky gonna say you, you you put your robe on. Yeah. yeah. See, you might you might run, you might hide, but you can't hide from God. Amen. You can't run from God. Amen. As Jonah, he tried to he tried to run from God. Oh, you yeah. can't hide and run from God. Then he was in the ship sleeping. You can't yeah. hide and run. Yeah. He see you. He do what? He, 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 he can see you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three day journey. He made it one day, brother Jonah. Yeah. Two, two to three day journey. Made he was moving. Yeah. You know he has sinned against God. Yeah, sir. But he, but he got it right. <laughs> and then, then God had to correct him with some other things. Lord, help me, to, help me to take my first correction. Amen. 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 And the king would rather disguise himself and went into the battle. Oh, Jehovah's God, he got his robe on. Yeah. But watch what happened here. See, you, <laughs> you, you can disguise yourself, but God didn't take the cover off of you. Thirty one part. But the king of Syria commanded his thirty and two captains that had ruled over the chariot sand. Fight neither with small nor great, save only the king of Israel. Now they already had made up their mind who they wanted. They didn't want your half of fire. No. They wanted who? The king of Israel. Well, who do you think put that in their mind? God. That's God did it. Yep. God put in their mind what king to go after. Yeah. And oh, oh, Ahab, he disguised himself like he ain't going to get caught. And Washington Hathaway, they're going to go after him because he got the robe on. But he cried out. Who do you yeah. think he's crying for? You know who he's crying for. No, whosoever called on the name of the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Be saved. So sometimes you find yourself in battle and don't look like you're winning. Yeah. Call on Jesus. Jesus. Save me. Bless you, Thank you, Lord. Turn that bow upside down. Help me, Lord, to finish. Hallelujah. Uh-oh. I mean, you always drinking heavy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, let's go to that uh, third second bar. And it came to pass when the captain of the chariots saw Jehoshaphat that it said, surely it is the king of Israel. They thought he was. And they turned aside to fight against him. And your house did, did what? Cried out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lord, you got to save me. I got myself in some trouble here. That's right. Running with Ahab. Yeah. So if you're running with somebody, you find yourself in trouble, call on him to the Lord. Amen. And I tell you, you can do better than that. Amen. Don't go in it so Amen. you won't have to call Amen. out. Amen. Call before you go in. Yes, Lord. Then you won't have to call Amen. while you're in it. Preacher, come on, Bummer, take the zip 777 03 1375 East Lucas. Thank you. But that 33rd verse, it came to pass when the captain of the chariot perceived that it was not the king of Israel that they turned back from pursuing him. <laughs> they left, they left there the law. There you go. And he got the king rolled. Yeah. <laughs> 34th verse. And a certain man drew a bull in a venture and smote the king of Israel between the giants. You might hide. You might run. 
which you can't hide from God. Yeah. Of the harvest, wherefore he said unto the driver of his chariot, Turn thy hand and carry me out of the host, I am wounded. Now, how they gonna know that's the king there? He ain't got no raw bone. Mm -hmm. But God. God, let him know. God let him. I say, God will show your enemy who you are. Amen. Oh, Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Take it well. Thank you, Lord. Let him have heard. And the battle increased that day. And the king was stared up in a chariot against the Samaritan and died that evening. And the blood ran out of the wound and into the midst of the chariot. Let us sing for her. And now we a proclamation throughout the host, and man about going down to the sun, saying, Every man to his city, and every man to his own country. Let us sing for her. They, they, they should have went and listened to Micah. They would have to go through all that. Let us sing for her. And the king died and was brought in unto Samaria. And they buried the king in Samaria. Let the eight bird. And one washed his chariot and the blood of Samaria. And dog did what? Licked his blood. Just like God prophesied to Elijah. Yes, Licked his blood and he washed his armor according to the word which the what? The Lord has spoken. When God says something, it's going to happen. Amen. Don't care who you are. Don't care what kind of talent you got. I don't care where you come from. Amen. If God said it, it's going to happen Amen. just like he said it. Amen. So if I see something in the word of God and Herman Young gone in the wrong direction, he's going to repent right now. He's not going to wait for you. He's going to do it. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Somebody going around here. Amen. Amen. We're not out of word. We didn't run out of time again. Lord, have mercy.